first time break and right hand man the red hot favorite but it's imperial black and pops you ball with sunset crystal up there on the outside as they go towards the first of the 26 fences four miles to go virtually three complete circuits of the track here at air and it is on the uh, right hand man actually now comes through to dispute the lead hardy lad right up there also there on the outside is Hoxhew Moore and Sunset Christo and just behind these on the outside we've got doorstep and also old Narvik with those very easy to pick out blinkers and Sunset Christo jumps his way to the front here Sunset Christo the leader now by half a length from Hardy Lad on the outside of this one is Narvik then Hoxhew Moore then right hand man Imperial Black those are the horses in the picture as they go towards the next all safely over the next no change in the order with Narvik who continues to lead as they go towards the next on the uh, far side Narvik jumps this one in front from Foxy Moore on the outside very similar colors to Sunset Cristo who's third on the inside then comes the red hot favorite right hand man then doorstep and Hardy Lad just to the back of these as they go towards the last on the far side fence number five all safely over that so as they make the bend at the far end of the course still a long long way to go about three and a half miles in fact at this stage and it is Narvik and Colin Hawkins Colin won this race on fighting fit in 1980 Neville Crump the trainers won it five times that's Narvik on the right in those easy to pick out blinkers Fox you more this side one of Ken Oliver's runners in this race Ken Oliver a man who's trained the winner five times and written a winner himself way back in 1950 sunset Christo pulling hard for his head in third as they come to the first one in the home straight this is fence number six Foxy Moore this side Narvik on the far side virtually stride for stride over that and all the field jumping well within themselves looking for right hand man and uh, a kinsman well right hand man is uh, nice and handy at the moment and uh, a kinsman just towards the of this stage but very early stage as they jump the open ditch Narvik on the far side, Sunset Christo in the middle, Fox you board this side, then comes the right hand man, then Hardy Lad. Behind this one we've got Great Head Boy, then Why Forget, then last year's winner Androma, then we've got Imperial Black, Blue Reef went uh, through that, then Doorstep, then Aikins were moving nicely, then Broomy Back, then another Duke. Behind this one we've got Black Hawk Star, then we've got Straw Hill, and the back marker at this stage is Holborn Head. That's the full list of the runners as they go past the winning post, and uh, a faller incidentally at the first with old Canton. Canton went to the first, that's the riderless horse. Bruff, they're going nice and easy at the moment. Yes, they've got a long old way to go. It's a long slog, this. Right-hand man, nice and handy, which is important because he, he didn't have a very smooth run through last year. As long as he stays right up there with them, things will be all right for him, but they'll clearly hot things up later on. I'm pleased to see a kinsman is running with quite a lot of zest. He's just on the right of the picture, but he's actually taken a real good hold of his bridle. Just to see how he copes on this second circuit. As they go towards fence number 10, the first one in the back straight. Another plain one, and Narvik. But up there virtually all the way in the lead by length from Fox Moore, Sunset Christo, Hardy Lad. Then comes the top way down, the favorite right-hand man. Then why forget getting closer as his great head boy, Blue Reef on the inside. Then comes Doorstep and Droma. Another Duke and Broomy Bank trying to get in the picture. A Kinsman is making a forward move on the outside. And these are beginning to go clear. In fact, Imperial Black is now the back marker and just looking a bit one-paced. As they continue their run down the back straight, Imperial Black, stable companion of the leader, Narvik, as they go towards the open ditch. Foxy Moore and Narvik virtually stride for stride, Hardy Lad third, Sunset Christo is fourth. Then we've got Great Head Boy and Why Forget, then Right Hand Man in the ideal position at the moment, but a very short price favorite considering this ground is considered to be too fast for him. So as they go towards the last on the far side, remember they've still got over two miles left to run in this William Hill Scottish National. No change in the order. Colin Hawkins this side gets a super jump out of Narvik in the lead by half a length from Fox U Moore. Then the uh, rest of the field closing on, on him a little bit with Sunset Christo in third, Hardy Lad on the inside in fourth. Why forget second in this race last year? He's making a forward move and Great Head Boy is the back of that leading group. Then we've got a gap to Androma. Then A. Kinsman who's still got a ground to make up. In fact, he's alongside right hand man. The first and second favorite in about eighth and ninth position at this stage as they come towards the first one in the home straight. Fence number 15 of the 26. This is a plain fence, Narvik and Fox you more this side. Why forget on the left of the picture? Jumping up into third place, Sunset Christo. 
Horse who was uh, third in the Cheltenham Gold Cup a few years ago would have a very good chance of reproducing that form. He's just behind in uh, fifth, but didn't jump that open ditch too well. Hardy Lad on the far side, and as they come towards fence number 17, this will be the last fence next, uh, next time round. Narvik leads over at this time from Fox Hugh Moore. On this side is Why Forget, then Great Head Boy, then Hardy Lad on the far side. These are the five leaders. Then comes Androva making ground. And looking towards the rear of the field, it's Blue Reef who's pulled up. Blue Reef has pulled up. Looking for right-hand man, Graham Bradley pushing him up in the middle of the field, trying to get into a challenging position. And uh, A. Kinsman also in the middle of the field. Got about 10 lengths to make up at this stage, bruv. Yes, I'm not happy with right-hand man. Not at this stage. He's, he's, it's a crucial moment for him. He's got to get back into the race just for a moment. Graham Bradley didn't look happy. The horse didn't jump that particularly well either. A Kinsman is going very smoothly, but right-hand man... He's, ha he's having to work, Graham Bradley. The horse stays forever, but he just hasn't looked very happy, and they'll turn the tap on now. Imperial Black has also been pulled up, passing the stand. So as they go towards the next on the far side, Narvik now being pushed along to keep his place as the pace quickens. This is where the race starts in earnest. Coming the first in the back straight, and they're really flying now, and it's Narvik with Fox Hugh Moore. Why forget? Still there on the outside, as he has been right from the word go. Hardy Lad in between these. These are the four leaders. Great head boy looking at one pace as Androma makes ground. So is a kinsman and right-hand man. This is the leading group. Then we've got a long gap to Broomy Bank. The, painter, the, the picture has changed so quickly as the pace quickens. As they go towards the next one, the far side. This is the uh, open ditch. And it's now Hardy Lad who goes for home. Went through that a little bit. Foxy Moore regains the lead. Foxy Moore is now the leader from Why Forget. Hardy Lad, a kinsman. Then right-hand man, last year's winner, Androma, is making ground all the time. Then great head boy, the weakening Narvik. That's the order as they go towards the last one on the far side. This will be the fourth from home. It's Fox Hugh Moore, and why forget, with a kinsman making ground significantly now into third place, and does a beautiful jump there. These three virtually stride for stride. Hardy Lad is fourth, right-hand man is fifth, and Droma is sixth, and the race has got to be between these six. These are well clear of great head boy. So, as they begin the long swing round, they've got half a mile left to run, three fences left to jump in the William Hill Scottish National. And it's Why Forget, Why Forget is the leader as they swing for home, ridden by Mr. Peter Dunn. On this side is his brother, Geordie Dunn on the eight kinsman then comes the top weight and the red hot favorite right hand man making ground all the time it's going to be a good finish this look at they come towards the third from home it's fox you more he'll stay on at one pace on the far side we've got the uh, favorite right hand man then comes why forget then a kinsman and then Androma making ground. Last year's winner on the far side in the sheepskin nose band. This is the second last. This is the open ditch. And it's now right-hand man, why forget, Androma, Boxy Moore, eight Kinsman and Hardy Lad. One of these six will win it. They've got one left to jump in the Scottish National. Androma comes through on the far side. Right-hand man, why forget, who's going to jump it first? Androma and right-hand man on the far side is Androma. In the center, it's right-hand man. It's between these two. Why forget is running on in third. It's going to be desperately close. It's Androma, right-hand man, why forget? Androma, the man, wins the Scottish National. Second is right-hand man. In third place is why forget. Fourth is A. Kinsman. Then behind these came Fox Moore. Then Hardy Lad. Then Broomy Bank. Then Great Head Boy. Behind these, we had another Duke just crossing the line now. Then Doorstep. Behind these, Narvik looking very tired. And also just crossing the line now is Straw Hill. And just coming up to finish last of all is Holborn Head. But what a terrific race. And